Hello, welcome back to Realness with Mr. Roll, and this is my Tarot Tuesdays. Now, I'm just going to pull one card for every all signs, and I don't re read reverses. And remember, this is just for entertainment purposes only, but we're going to see what's going on in the love shack. I, this is more, I'm focusing more towards love, but, you know, we'll see what comes up. Um, also, um... Let me invoke uh, my spirit guides and uh, I'm going to say a quick prayer. I cleanse myself of all selfishness and ignorant misinterpretations of my life. I bathe myself in love, acceptance, and forgiveness. And I ask for my spirit guides to give me messages that will help my audience and others on their journey. Amen. Wow. We're doing this. It's been a minute. And uh, just to get the energy just right, I have a wonder, this was a gift for my birthday and I really love it. And we're gonna clear the energy even more. Now, it wasn't as chimey because I was holding it, <laughs> but generally uh, it lasts for about 30 seconds. Uh, and these are my cards uh, that are the Lightseer's tarot deck. And I'm going to purify it so that the energy is pure. Okay. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. I'm having a pretty good Tuesday. I had some really good news today. And uh, I even talked to an accountant today. <laughs> so we got, it's, uh, things are moving in the right direction. And uh, I, uh, I don't like talking about money, and I don't like dealing with money. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I, I, I know it. I love what money can do. I'm not about money. Um, okay, we're gonna. Uh, do, 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 do. 12 cards. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. One, two, ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven. 12. Okay. I'm a little rusty, but bear with me. Oh my guys, they, they don't usually lie. So, we're going to start with Aries. Aries. We're getting the Seven of Swords. Um, there might be something that uh, you're running away from, and there's might be a lot of ideas in your head that you're letting consume you. You might want to ground yourself. That would be the best advice I have for you. Taurus. Ooh. Ten of swords. <laughs> you're at the end of some journey. Girl, you got you done. You done with this. You done with that. You just done. It's over. You're just saying kaput. <laughs> Gemini. Oh, Lord have mercy. Gemini. Ooh, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Here we go. That You can see that. The Emperor. Somebody coming along that is charming and has money that wants to really hang out with you and spoil you. Let them. Ooh, Cancer. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Now, you're trying to decide. You have two really great options, but you're sort of facing something else that's in front of you. Now, it's a little bit emotional, and you're not really sure, but it's on the horizon. Stay focused. What comes after cancer? What? It is Leo. Leo gets the death card. You are transforming. 
Something is happening within you. It's a it's a beautiful place. The death card is usually a scorpion, but you're having a transformative, transformative energy around you right now. And you're kind of a little bit internal, but whoever you were, you are in the cocoon of shedding that skin. Virgo. Virgo is the page of wands dancing in the sun and coming up with different ideas to make that money 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 because virgos love to work and you love work and you love being busy and you're starting out this new journey in this new job that you just got uh almost um like a teenager you're excited you're excited to be getting this new opportunity uh, Libra, Libra, oh Lord, 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 it's the devil. What is the devil got on you? What is the devil trying to do to you? Who's trying to entice you to do something? Or is it a substance or is it a bad addiction? Something's going on. Take a moment to realize, are you gonna jump back into that fire and not take it seriously that there might be a problem? Or are you just going to be seduced by the thing? You know what that thing is. Scorpio. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Scorpio is the nine of cups. You just got so many options. Things are coming in. So much prosperity. Your cups are runneth over. You're almost at the end of a cycle. And uh, it's beautiful. You're finally in a place where you are somewhat freer because you're not worried and you're a little fanciful and it's wonderful to see. And my next card is the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, that is for Sagittarius. Now, you've been working hard. You've been looking at your, you've been really steadfast doing your thing. And um, it looks like maybe um, you need to realize that you've accomplished a lot. So maybe you need to give yourself a little bit of a pat on the back. All right. Um, Aquarius. Dun, 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 dun. Ten of Pentacles. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. Capricorn. That's Capricorn. Um, Capricorn, you are ready to settle down and start a family. And uh, you're probably thinking about purchasing a home or a car. Um, the love is there for you. The partnership is there for you. You've completed, you're walking into the next phase of your life for things that you really, you've been working for. The next card is Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. Eight of Swords. Whatever's in your head, so, so you need to just, you can get out of this. You're thinking too much. You're thinking too much about stuff. It's all up here. And you need to let that go because you have the power to do that. Take yourself out of that situation. And the final card is two of swords for Pisces. Interesting, because Pisces is a duality, uh, because those two fish go both ways, right? And these are two birds, or two ideas, nagging at you, and you can't figure out exactly where you should go. You can mull it over, you can keep thinking about it, but you need to make a decision. Make a decision, Pisces. One card, that's for everyone. It's very simple. Uh, looks like it was more about life. <laughs> well, it wasn't about romance. Well, this deck of cards is a different. I have some other card decks that I might try. Uh, so it's really not romantic. It's really just a general read of what's going on with you. And hopefully it resonated with some of you. And if it didn't, that's okay. Just let it go. This is just for entertainment purposes only. And I'm starting up again. So if, if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, that's okay too. So thank you for coming back. And I'm going to actually uh, do something for the 11-11 that's coming up 
on a Thursday. So with that said, thank you again for coming back to please subscribe, like, hit that notification button, and tell your friends about me. I'm a really good time had by all. <laughs> That's actually what Betty Davis said about Marilyn Monroe. She was a good time had by all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I'd like to equate myself with Marilyn, but I'm I'm really more of a, a Dorothy Dandridge kind of gal. Anyway, have a beautiful evening. Uh, I love you. Thank you for coming back, and I'll see you next time.